I am coming to you looking a bit more, we'll call it fresh face today. <laughs> this is the real me with no makeup on. I mean, the other me is the real me as well, but this is me with no makeup, literally just skin. I haven't even creamed my face because I wanted to do a how I do my makeup video. I don't do anything, you know, particularly amazing. I've had the same makeup routine for probably about seven or eight years now. Oh, this is so awkward. There's some guys here that have come to fix the roof and <laughs> they're looking at me like, what the hell is she doing? Anyway, so I'm doing um, how I do my makeup. I'm going to start from the very beginning. So the first thing I do is I cleanse and I use the Comfort and Hydrate Micellar Cleanser from Neil's Yard. It's for sensitive skin. Can you see that? Yeah, it's really good. Minimal ingredients, organic, cleanses, soothes and hydrates for healthier looking skin certified organic 12 hour hydration Neil's yard is so good for skincare they're amazing so i cleanse first if i look over there every now and again it's because i've got a mirror here make sure to cleanse your neck as well because as we get older, us ladies, this starts to, and we don't want that. My forehead, all the nooks and crannies. So that's that done. And then after I've cleansed, I then tone and I use the rejuvenating frankincense toner Again, from Neil's Yard. Um, it's got aloe vera in it to cool, soothe, and help restore skin's elasticity and vitality. So that's that. And again, I just use a cotton pad. Go all over my face. And just make sure you're getting everywhere because all of our skin matters. Usually, my mentality is out of sight, out of mind. <laughs> That's with everything. And Matt gets quite annoyed because I'm like it with the house as well. So we've got cupboards that are just filled with stuff. If you can't see it, it's not there. And that is a fact. Right, so I have cleansed i've toned i mean i literally cleansed my face with a cream cleanser upstairs and there's still it's mucky i then use because i suffer with psoriasis and i'm just at the back of this bit that was here but i still like to keep it moisturized so i use from herb pharmacy which is a beautiful family run it's a farm essentially but they grow all the ingredients on site to make their skincare which is why they've spelt pharmacy f-a-r-m they grow all of their own ingredients that then go into their skincare product this is the balm with oregon grape and it's so good if you look at it it's like quite a thick consistency can't really see because it's focusing on my face but i just rub it anywhere where i've had or have psoriasis and it just really helps with keeping the skin moisturized and protected because obviously when you've had psoriasis you shed those layers of skin this is really quite grim and um so the new skin is really sensitive so I just put it everywhere where I've had psoriasis, which is everywhere. I just make sure it's nicely rubbed in. It really hit me this year. It came with a vengeance. But I think it's just a winter thing because obviously we don't have as much sun and we all know how good the sun is for us so when we don't have it that's something that we struggle with in the uk 
is vitamin D deficiency because we just don't have sun. It's yeah, and people think that like you can take vitamin C and it will kind of vitamin D, sorry, and that it will give you what you need, but it's just not the same as being in the sun. Okay, so that's that. And then on top of that, I use my moisturizer, which is the Neil's Yard Frankincense Intense Age Defying Cream. Cream. Because your girl's 33, those fine lines, they're coming. They're coming. I use this from Neil's Yard, which is the Frankincense Intense Age Defying Cream. Again, this is a really lovely, thick cream. It's so nice. Do I really have to do that every time I want to show you something? Yeah, I do. It's really thick. And I just put that all over my face and neck. Oh, I rubbed in and a little bit on the chest so that's that then this product that I've been going on and on about you're gonna see it in action my favorite stuff this is the glowish by Huda Beauty multi juice skin tint I get it in a five which is medium I just put one pump onto my finger trust me that will do my whole face rub it like this and then into the neck as well Can you see the difference that that tiny bit has made? I mean, I just love it. It's given me a nice amount of coverage, a nice amount of dew. So when you do this, the light's like picking up the cheekbones and anything else that us women want to accentuate. And that is literally all you need. I mean, it's still not as dark on here as it looks in person. It looks really like nice and tanned in person, but you can get an idea of the coverage. So yeah, that's that. Then on top of that, I just put a bit of concealer. This is a bit too yellow for me, but I have run out. And so I'm using this one, which is actually Lani's, it's e.l.f. I mean, I could use this as foundation, but you have to make do. Just take it across. And up under my eyes. And then down the front of my nose and just here on my forehead. And just use the excess off the beauty blender to do my eyelids. So we're nice and even. Can you see the, the dewiness that that gives? It's so nice. Okay, so what do I do next? Oh, I, I contour my face. I'm using Makeup Academy in Sunkissed Bronze 
For a cheap bronzer, this sits on your face really nicely. Usually they're quite drying, but it's a really creamy bronzer. So I'll go straight down here, straight down here, and then I take some across the top of my forehead. So I'll do that first. And this is just gonna give you a bit of shape, a bit of bronziness, like you've just come off a beach. Because Lord knows we all wanna be on a beach. You're just sort of carving the shape out. I know that face is ridiculous, but it helps you to see where you're, you see. And then a little bit under here because the mince pies were going down a tree over Christmas, but I still want to have a jawline. I neglected it, <laughs> but it's okay. Nothing makeup can't do. Just keep carving. <laughs> I will have cheekbones. Even if I have to pay for them. And then just a little bit down each side of my nose. Get a bit of definition in there as well. So that's my contour. Just look a little bit beachier. Is that a word? I've really got to stop making words up. Next is eyebrows. And I never enjoy doing this because they never ever go right. I'm going to do my eyebrows in this mirror and then I'll show you. So this is them before. It's really not much there. They're not terrible, but they're not the best. I want to, I want to. Look. I 35 with the top down. Quit to tell a hater they should get like me. Seem like There's one. Now, the trick is getting this one to look like this one. Sisters, not twins. Sisters, not twins. Man, so you'll never fool me with the cat. You be so I think that's it. I mean, they're not identical, but they're not supposed to be. Sisters, not twins. Mine are more like ninth cousins, three times removed, but that's okay. <laughs> so once I've done that, I then move on to eyeliner and I literally just use, it's like, um, it's got like a sharp end and I find it so much easier to do it with this than I do with the little brush. I find those really difficult because as soon as I press down, because I'm so heavy handed, they kind of just, the brush just separates and I can't get that sort of fine line. So I'll just do... <laughs> Focusing today is it so once I've done my eyeliner I then go on to my mascara I generally either use so it's called air volume it's by L'Oreal this is a good one but my favorite one is sky high sky high by I'm sure it's Maybelline let's see yeah Maybelline that mascara is incredible it's so good but for now, I'll be using this because I'm out of sky high. And what I do is I just kind of put it on in layers. So that's the first layer. Uh, and you just build it to the kind of... Um, effect that you want it to have if you want it to be more dramatic and like if you're going out then 
more layers obviously but for day to day maybe two layers will do i mean i'm going quite dramatic here i don't know where i think i'm going we're getting there guys i usually do this Bruh. but i can't do that on camera I feel like my mascara is not going on properly because I'm not doing that face. Hang on. Ah! <laughs> oh, the difference! That's the first layer. Oh, runny nose. So that's the second layer. So that's that. Now, I'm gonna use a bit of blusher. I do like to mix my blusher. So I mix together two colors. So I have a pinky tone and then I have the contour that I used. They're both Makeup Academy. This is called Rouge Punch. So I mix the two because I don't want it to be too pink, but I don't want it to be too brown either. And just dab it on there. Blow off the excess. And just, again, build it until it's how you want it. I think that's enough for just daytime. But can you see, it just gives a really nice... tiny bit up there and then I always put a tiny bit across my nose just so uh, just to give that sun kissed look you want it to look like the sun's just come down from the sky and blessed you say that's obviously not what's happened and then I use my highlighter. Guys, I'm not one for expensive. I'd love to have expensive makeup, but I have three children. And I think if I can get makeup that's not going to cost me the earth and it still does the job, it's a win-win really, isn't it? That's not to say that one day I don't want to have Chanel foundation and Chanel face cream and beautiful, beautiful, expensive <laughs> makeup anyway for now we're using makeup academy which does the job it's great and it's cheap so i'm just gonna go in with my highlighter this is called shimmer highlight powder i actually got this and my blusher from bristol airport it was just a last minute dash um to get a mascara sorry uh, a highlighter to take on holiday so i got it from i think it was super drug or was it boots whichever one it is that's in the airport anyway sorry guys i lost you briefly there you get like a time limit to film on the canon g7x which is the camera i've got obviously and um sometimes it's 25 minutes and sometimes it just cuts off but anyway yeah so it's a nice natural really creamy for the for the price it's not sometimes with um cheaper highlighters and some expensive highlighters actually um they can be too creamy and so they kind of form sort of um it kind of like <sighs> coagulates that's that that's what i mean but that's not <laughs> it's not a word i want to use for this conversation um so it like It kind of binds together and makes like clumps and this doesn't do that it can they can also be it can be the opposite way where they're quite drying and yeah they kind of dry your skin out but this just goes on really i'm sure this was about 4.99 so i just do cheekbones i put some on my nose tiny bit on the forehead even though that doesn't need accentuating but free the forehead i say and then if you're going somewhere nice which i'm not <laughs> but i'll show you anyway 
you just put a little bit on your collarbones and it just brings them forward because collarbones are sexy that's what we're told anyway i don't know how a bone can be sexy but it is so then i go on to lips and before i do anything i put on my burt's bees lip balm are you gonna focus i think i've just got to hold it a bit further away haven't i because i'm like this oh okay yeah so burt's bees lip balm this is really good for dry lips but the reason i use it is because it helps me when i'm trying to blend my lip liner into my lipstick it just helps it blend a bit better but you don't want too much because then you don't really get a matte lip Let's just rub that in i use my max factor it's really small now warm brown to line my lips so i'll just do that and then i'll explain what i do afterwards so and then make sure that it's even on both sides there i always have to overline this side because i've got a bit of asymmetry i know my friend danielle's gonna laugh at this because i always say that i want to get a just a one sec hello Hello. It is, yeah. Oh, shut up. What do you want? Yeah, sorry about that. So, um, I've got a bit of asymmetry on the left side of my lip. It will look like the right side to you, but it's the left side. And basically this side is a little bit fuller here than this side. And I always say that I'd love to have just a tiny bit of filler. Not for vanity purposes, but just because I do get self-conscious about it. Because to me, if I look at a picture of myself, it looks like my lip is like this. <laughs> I know it's not, but it looks like it's that bad. And so just to have it evened out, not my bottom lip touched, not this side touched, literally just a tiny bit of filler just to prop that up a bit. And I am gonna do it one day, I am gonna do it. But yeah, so anyway, for now, I just slightly overline that side so it looks like my lip's fuller. And then I'm holding it like this because, <laughs> guys, that's what I'm dealing with right now. And I'd, all I have to do is sharpen it, but the lazy in me is, is loud. So I then take it across the bottom. And it doesn't matter that the line is thick because I'm gonna be blending it in anyway. So then I just fill the top lip like so. And then on the bottom, I just fill either side. What that does is helps accentuate this middle bit, which makes your lips look bigger because it's coming forward from the middle, colour wise. And then I take my Makeup Academy matte lipstick. God, I didn't realise I had quite so much Makeup Academy. This is a dupe for a NYX lipstick that I had that was called Cold Brew. The lipstick was the best lipstick I've ever used. It was so nice. And I've had like Dior lipsticks, MAC lipsticks, Bob Bobbi Brown lipsticks, NARS lipsticks. This one from NYX was a beautiful colour. The texture was amazing. It was just so nice and they've discontinued it. That always happens. You find a product that you love 
and it gets discontinued. Why? Why? Anyway. So then I just take a tiny bit of this, literally just that, and I just in the middle. Why is my nose running? And I just put it in the middle to create like a pouty look. Then last thing, I take the flat side of this beauty blender. Where's the other one? I don't know. And I just tap it over the highlight just to make it look even more natural. I always leave the one on the end of my nose nice. The end of my eyes, the end of my nose like this because I just like it glowy, if you know what I mean. And then last thing is to just wipe away any mascara that might have ended up on your eyelids. I go out like that a lot. I think I'm just going to put a tiny bit more. You don't need to see me from this angle. It's horrific. And that is it. I don't do anything else apart from that. I probably should get like a setting spray. But I don't have one at the moment. And my makeup generally lasts quite well. Just because I don't really touch. I think touching your face is what moves your makeup around. So that's that for makeup. The perfume that I use is called Mijon and I got it from Spain when I went to Formentera. This is an area in Formant on Formentera. The perfume, 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 the perfume shop um, was beautiful. It's in a place called San Francesc, which is just before where we stayed. We actually stayed in Mijon and it turns out that was my favorite smell. So each one of their scents is um, named after a different part of the island. We were staying in Mihorn, um, and the smell of it is just gorgeous. It's absolutely beautiful. It could last longer. It is Eau de Toilette or Agua de Perfume, which is obviously the Spanish. That was the worst Spanish ever. It could last longer, but the initial smell is so good. So I just put it on my chest and on my neck and, then... and that is me done it's nothing special but i look a damn sight different to how i looked about half an hour ago <laughs> and that's the main thing so yeah this is just my everyday makeup this is my everyday makeup if i'm making an effort everyday makeup is literally just this with some eyebrows and um, sometimes I put lipstick on with lip liner, but otherwise I literally just have, some days I just have that. I don't even put my eyebrows on. Depends how ratchet we want to go, you know? No, that's wrong. I shouldn't have said that. But anyway, so this is it. This is my makeup. I hope you've enjoyed watching. I'm really just trying to feel my way around the channel at the moment and see what works well, what doesn't. So I'm just going to do, you know, bits here and there and just see how it goes. I don't really, I'm, I don't feel like I can say, so tell me what you want to see more of because I'm not, I'm just not confident enough to do that at the moment because people will just be like, um, awkward. So I'm just doing what I want to do for now and seeing how things perform. So thank you so much for watching. This was my makeup routine, everyday makeup routine. Um, yeah, this is how I look on a day-to-day -day basis if I do my makeup. Generally, I don't wear makeup only because I just can't be bothered to do it if I'm not going anywhere. But if I am, which I am today, I'm gonna to take myself out for lunch. Um, then I'll put some makeup on. I love going out for food on my own. I love asking for a table for one. I love ordering my food and then I love eating my food alone, just relaxed, calm. So I'm going to go to um, a place in a village near us called Bruton and the restaurant is called At The Chapel. It's at, it, please go on their website. If you 
want a romantic weekend away as a couple or you want i don't know it's not the kind of place you'll go with your kid with your kids it's just i mean to eat there yeah it's not cheap but it's just me so i don't mind going just by myself if we were to go as a family you're looking at probably about 170 pound for five of you to eat that's me matt and the three girls yeah five of us so it's not cheap at all um but it's a lovely place to just go the fact that it's called at the chapel kind of gives you a clue about what what it is but it's a converted chapel so the ceilings are just really high ceilings beautiful like sculptured artwork on the wall and um it's just a really nice place to go and eat. The builder's looking at me like I'm absolutely nuts. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice place to go and eat, um, either alone or as a couple. They have rooms there as well, which are beautiful. You can see those rooms on the on the website. Um, just Bruton, the area in general is gorgeous. They refer to it as the Camden of the Southwest really cool shops like independent shops really cool people just got a nice vibe about it it can feel a little bit everybody there has got money there's a huge private school there and it can feel a little bit like nobody wants to have nobody wants to be doing less well than anyone else that i'm making it sound horrible now it's a really nice place they've also got an amazing art gallery there called hauser and worth you'll have heard loads of people talking about the newt online so the newt is not far at all from bruton i'd say it's about a 10 minute drive from bruton i highly recommend a visit to bruton if you're in the southwest even more so a visit to at the chapel so they do like stone baked pizza which is all done in a massive pizza oven they've got a gorgeous bakery they've got a winery downstairs is really nice at night because they've got like a bar there and they have um a dj stand and they do all cocktails and things and it's just really nice it's a really nice place so i'm gonna go to at the chapel now i'm gonna have a nice lunch they've got a good gluten-free range so i'm gonna have a nice lunch and i'm just gonna sit and relax in the back of my mind is my self-assessment that's why not kian that's why not because you've got stuff to do that you could actually go to jail for if you don't well matt could go to jail for okay monday monday i'm gonna do the self-assessment i promise matt i will do it on monday <laughs> So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope you liked my makeup routine. I hope you learned something or just enjoyed watching it or saw that you can achieve a nice result with fairly cheap makeup. Maybe one day I'll do a video where I compare cheaper makeup with more expensive makeup and see what the results are. Ow. Funny bone. I've seen that quite a lot online and it's I find it fascinating quite a lot of the time the cheap makeup looks better that's me done I'm going to stop rambling now I'm going to go and get something to eat and I will see you in my next video bye